So um, I'm, uh, my entry into the ecological economics world is, is, is from a law background. And when I first, when I first started my studies, uh, a big question I had was, well, what is to law what ecological economics is to economics? And sort of the, the, the sub thing that came into my head is, well, if ecological economics is really a transdiscipline, is that even a question to ask? Well, I asked it anyways. And um, um, what I want to talk today is at least the beginning of, a, of some kind of a strategic framework for a transition to the rule uh, of what, I, what I've described as the rule of ecological law. And I'll get uh, to what that means in a minute. So the overview of my presentation is to ask the question, how must the legal system evolve to promote a mutually enhancing human-Earth relationship? So jumping way ahead of what uh, Michael just talked about, I'm, I'm taking this idea of a mutually enhancing human-Earth relationship as perhaps uh, an end uh, that could be um, a, a unifying end in some way. Um, but I'm sort of starting with an assumption that that's some place where we want to go and that we are not currently going to. Uh, so that presents key challenges for law in the Anthropocene. First, it involves making that a goal, uh, which involves giving primacy in the legal system to normative criteria that promote a mutually enhancing human-Earth re relationship. And then coming up with strategies for overcoming features that impede that goal and embedding features that enhance that goal. So background on, on uh, this inquiry, um, just to, to, to frame my, my inquiry and how I get to this objective and, and uh, uh, my proposed uh, framework is we're at a point where we um, have two conflicting ideas, dominant ideas, one is um, the economic growth or growth insistent of our dominant economic system. The, the graph on the, uh, on the left up there shows what our economy, how big it will be if we grow to the next, to the end of the century at two or three percent. If it's two percent, we're nine times bigger in terms of GDP. If it's three percent, we're 16, about 16 times bigger than we are now. And on the right, we have just one measure, the ecological footprint of of how that's working out so far. So according to that, if you think of the green zone there as one where we're humans alone are only using one Earth's worth of biocapacity, we uh, crossed that line somewhere around 1970. We've been building a, an ecological debt and drawing down uh, our, our biocapacity ever since. And of course, that upward uh, curve on the right is correlated uh, not perfectly, but quite strongly with the growth curves on the left. So these two graphs frame op opposing impossibilities that frame the inquiry I'm looking in into. Uh, these impossibilities are first that it is impossible to have sustainable development without an economic model built on continuously rising GDP. Uh, in other words, we, we don't have to worry about it because we're going to have all this money with which to solve all of our social and environmental problems and don't ask too many detailed questions about how that's going to work. And that's in dynamic tension with an alternative um, uh, narrative of impossibility that it is impossible for the global eco eco uh, ecosystem to supply the material and energy and biocapacity needed to support an infinitely growing economy, so we need to come up with alternatives. So those two narratives are, are in dynamic uh, tension. They open up the space in which to reconceive uh, personhood. So we heard this morning, are we consumers or citizens? Uh, there may be deeper inquiries, inquiries we can think about um, uh, humans and how we fit into the earth and the universe. What is well-being? Uh, what is fairness and justice? It's space in which we need to consider and give space for an emerging primacy of ecological boundaries, whether we're measuring them by ecological footprint, planetary boundaries, or something else. It's space in which, as the planetary boundaries authors in their initial paper in 2009 said, um, it's space where those ecological boundaries can give way to novel uh, 